What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Timu haul. Are you shocked? Today is going to be <clears throat> a kind of a big bag. It's a <clears throat> pretty big bag. Um, from what I can tell, um, this bag has 27 items in it. Um, but they're not all one order. This is bits and pieces of six different orders. So, um, I think there's an item in here. I think this is where it's at. Um, maybe. Maybe not. I was thinking this is just the other bag. But, there's still going to be some cute stuff in here, I think. Um, I have my little document pulled up over here on my laptop that tells me the prices of everything. Um, but I do, I think, I think I have my tablet ready if I need to get into it. No, my tablet is dead. So, I can look it up on my tablet, on my, on my laptop. Anyway, it's early in the morning. Um, it's not so early that it's late like I, I've done before. It is, it's pretty early in the morning. It's, it's going on eight o'clock in the morning. So not too early. Um, kind of had an interesting night last night. Um, I was getting, putting Abby in bed and at about 11, 15, 11, 20, the power went out. Um, we've been having, we, we had kind of, had kind of a storm, um, late last night, but the wind y'all, the wind was outrageous. And I think that's what knocked it out. I don't know. But obviously when the power went out, my boyfriend, we sleep, we ate, actually, um, we sleep with a fan in our bedroom. So he was in bed trying to sleep because he had to get up and go to work in this, this early this morning. And normally we have a fan in Abby's room. So when the power went out, obviously the fan went off, the fan went off in our bedroom and it woke Andy up, so he immediately got on his phone and uh, went to the website and put down that there was a power outage. And it took a little bit, it didn't come straight back on, but I think it came back on about an hour later maybe, a little hour and 15 minutes, something like that. Um, we had gotten up, um, I went ahead and brought Abby back in here in the living room and thank goodness for wireless hotspots because we were just watching some YouTube on my laptop and everything and came back on about 12 15 12 20 and so I took her back in there in bed and put her back to bed so um so yeah Kind of an interesting night. I was up a little bit late, uh, which is not l really late for me, but it's still, I was, I had worked yesterday morning and I was so ready to go to bed. Um, I don't have to go to work as early as Andy does, but when I do work, um, I work in the mornings and I usually set my alarms starting at 7.30 in the morning um, so that um, I can make sure I'm up by 8, 8.30, so that I can be out of the house by 10. I know, it's weird. Um, I require lots of time to wake up <laughs> and get ready for my day. Um, but anyway, enough jibber jabber. Um, we've got a big package, and like I said, I think there's about 27 items in here, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm looking at the right package. Um, I'm going to get into it, um, and before I begin, no, um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, I'm so happy to have you back here, and um, it's good seeing you again. I love seeing my, my returning viewers. Um, if you don't know, if you are new here, if you don't know about Timu, um, they are an online marketplace, very similar to Amazon, um, but their prices are much, much cheaper. Um, they're offering everything under the sun that you can think of. 
I've seen everything from medical equipment to obviously storage organizing type of stuff. I've even seen, I've been seeing more and more food pop up on there y'all. Um, I have seen vitamins, I have seen so cooking sauces, um, uh, dried dried snacks, um, just, just a whole plethora of food items. Um, and if you, and I think they've actually got a special section for it. So, um, but yeah, definitely go check them out. Um, if you are a new user to Timu or if you're a returning user, maybe you tried Timu out in the past and you deleted the app, you can re-download the app, uh, reinstall the app on your phone and make use of the discount code. I want to put my, start putting my discount code again on the screen. Um, that is for the U.S. Um, but if you're outside the U.S., I do have additional discount codes and affiliate links um, for um, other countries, um, for the U.K., Canada, and Australia. Um, but discount code will get you 30% off your first order. Um, if you go through the affiliate link, which I'll put down in the description box, you will get 30% off your first order um, if you are a new or returning user um, previously a previous user who has reinstalled their app. Um, that's what I've heard. I haven't tried it because I can't physically delete my app because I have an iPhone. And if you're an Apple user, you know that you can't actually delete apps off your phone, off your account. They just take it off your home screen. Um, and it's still in your, um, in your cloud thing. But, um, like I said, if you go through the affiliate links, though, um, you will get 30% off in addition to um, a $100 coupon bundle, um, which you will get after you place your order. But you have to have to, you have to do all that in the first hour. So, shop quickly. Um, I'm gonna get into this. I'm tired. I'm not tired, but I'm tired of jibber jabbering. I just want to. I just want to get into this. Um, and start pulling things out. I'm so excited because I have a package. Um, I have a Timu package coming today, but it's a special Timu package. Um, and I may have mentioned it before, um, but uh, me and Cheryl of uh, Are We There Yet? We we did a mystery swap. So she is going to be recording and uploading a video with my package to her. And her package is gonna be arriving for me today. But I'm gonna wait. She is, she's kind of off um, doing some camping and stuff, but I'm gonna wait and upload that at a later time. Well, I'm gonna wait and record it at a later time. There's not really a big rush to record it, but I just wanna let y'all know so that y'all know it's coming. Um. So that's coming today. Mine actually arrived to her last week. Uh, <laughs> even though I think if we didn't place our orders on the same day, I think she may, I can't remember if she placed her order on the same day I did or the day after I did, but my package got to her really quickly um, within a week, I think, um, but her package took a little bit longer. Um, I think it got stuck um, waiting to be picked up, but that's it. That's all I have for y'all right now. The shirt that I'm wearing, this cactus shirt. Um, by the time y'all see this, y'all probably have just saw it in my last video. Um, when I say this thing is super soft, y'all hear people talk all the time about um, shirts being soft from Timu. This is the softest shirt I have ever gotten from Timu. Ever. Like, it is so, like, crazy soft, y'all. I wish I wish y'all could reach to the screen and feel my shirt. It is so soft. But I will link that down below in the description box right up underneath where I put my affiliate codes and links. Um, and also right up underneath there, right up under the affiliate codes and my links, you'll find my fish land and farmland codes. If you enter those into the uh, main search bar on the home screen, um, it will take you directly to the game and add me as a friend. Um, I think that's just for U.S. only since I'm in the U.S., but I don't know. Your mileage may vary. I've had some people have no problems with it and other people um, have problems with it. 
I don't know who's in the U.S. and who's outside the U.S., but it may only be for U.S., but you're welcome to try. Um, uh, there was something else I was going to tell you. Oh, and right up underneath that is, is usually where I put my what I'm wearing. So, this shirt will be linked down below in that section. Um, since I won't... Oh, excuse me. Since I won't be able to put full order links down below, I will still put links to each individual item that I'm going to show you in the order that I show it. So, if there's anything in here that you love, that you absolutely have to have, just look down below in the description box and uh, find a link. I try my best to um, write out good little like descriptions of each each item but sometimes it gets a little tricky but i try my best either or everything's linked down below so i've got my bag open and i see something right here on top that i know exactly what it is um it is a reorder uh something that i ordered in a previous video I had this in red, but I ordered it in this color in a smaller size, thinking it would work better, but it didn't. So I got a refund on that um, on that one, and um, immediately went and ordered the 4X in it, like I have in my red one. But this is just that little waffle knit um, shirt. It's like a on me, it's like a three-quarter length. I'm not quite all the way down. Um, but, I mean, because the sleeves are kind of short. If you have longer arms, it'll probably be a three-quarter sleeve. Um, but it's a really cute shirt. It's really good, lightweight. Um, I can look through this right now and see my ring light. But, <clears throat> just a really cute shirt. And like I said, this is a reorder. Um... I did um, order the 4X because I had previously got the red one. Um, it's like a burgundy color one in a 4X. And I felt it like it was might be a little bit big. Um, even though it's super comfortable. I really love it. It's one of my favorite shirts. I thought, well, maybe it's a little bit big. So um, when I went and ordered the green one, I ordered it in 3X. Did not like how the 3X fit. <laughs> um, but... Uh, so, I immediately went and got my money back for the other green shirt. Even though I still have it, I didn't need to, re I didn't need to return it. So, um, I did get my money back for it and just immediately went and ordered the Forex. So, that, um, yes, I'm going to have to be pulling my glasses on and off. Um, that is, oh, okay, um, that was $13.98. I'm giving you the prices of what I paid for items. Um, always be sure to get your price adjustments, y'all. Um, and the reason being, I have a good example. I recently placed an order and there was a shirt in that order that was, it's the same kind of style as something that I've gotten previously, um, but it was gonna be coming from a separate supplier. So they were gonna ship it straight directly to me. Um, I paid $19.99 or $19.98 for that shirt. Even though I didn't want to pay that much for that shirt, um, I did. Within a couple of days after ordering that shirt, I went into my price adjustments and I was getting about half that cost back on that shirt. I got like $9 and some change back on that shirt um, just within a couple of days. And I'm like... I knew it. I knew I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for a shirt. And then yesterday I went in again and got another like $4 and something back on that shirt. So that shirt that I paid almost $20 for is now down to like $5 and something. And the, the listing that a shirt is through, they had it in two other colors. The other two colors were still 1998 or 1999. It's just the the pink one that I bought was down to five dollars and something. So I have to kind of remind myself whenever I get ready to 
show that shirt and put it in that it wasn't technically a special deal. It just really went on a good sale. But check your price adjustments, y'all. Um, check your price adjustments every day. Um, because that's how you get your credits to place more orders. Um, so next, uh, these are some leggings. And these were $9.99. Just some cat print leggings. <laughs> um, and these are pretty soft. They feel like a cotton, but like a shiny cotton. <laughs> so these are really, really pretty comfortable. And they just have the different cat prints all over them. Um, and I think I got a 4X in these. Like I usually do. And of course, there's no tag. There it is. I say, um, yeah, I did get a 4X in these, and they are 100% polyester, so, but, I mean, they're pretty soft, they, they feel like a cotton, so they're not, like, as soft as a shirt or anything, but they're still pretty soft, and there's, um, there's a, some stretch in it, not, not a crazy amount, but some, so, just some super cute cat leggings, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to not take forever in this. So next up, um, I ordered three of these um, storage boxes. And the reason I ordered them was because I was watching somebody. Um, who was it? Was it Gigi? Um, I think I was watching Gigi over at Gigi's Crap Attic in Halls, I think. And she had mentioned putting her press-on nails in these boxes. And I thought that was the best idea. And she had mentioned that she had gotten them. I'll take one out for you. I just happened to get three of them. It wasn't a three pack. I just ordered three of them. But she had mentioned where she had gotten a um, a sponsored haul. She was doing one of the, the sponsored hauls. And um, she had gotten one of the things she was uh, in the page that she was picking from was some storage boxes and the ones she got were bigger um she might have gotten like the 28 compartment one but this is a 24 compartment one or 8 12 16 20. yeah this is a 24 compartment one which is great it's fine um but she had mentioned um having uh one of the options that she was allowed to select from was was these kind of boxes for 29 cents and even though when you're picking out from these sponsored orders, you only, you're only allowed to get one of an item. She did have multiple options in her choices um, for a pretty cheap price. So, I managed to find these for $0.29 cents each. So, I ordered three. Um, it can be done, guys. You just have to look, be patient, look around. Um, but, yeah, all she does... And these are just little storage compartments. Y'all, she just takes her press-on nails, her little plastic uh, nails that she gets. And she takes them out and she puts them in the in these little boxes so that you can look and see what you have. And it takes up so much less room. And I thought that was a genius idea, guys. I thought it was a genius idea. And I don't know if I have any press-on nails in here. I don't think I have any press-on nails in this particular haul. Or I'd show you. Um, but yeah. I got three of these each. And, well, I got three of them. And, oh, excuse me. Um, and I, I actually paid 27 cents for each of these. So, super good deal. And I'm going to be going as soon as I can to um, whittle down my nails because there is room for 24, 48, 72, 
72, 72 different sets of nails in these three packages. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that that's enough for the ones that I have now. So, because what y'all don't see back in this little shelf right here, um, down at the bottom, I have a tote. I had to buy a tote for all my nail stuff when I started getting my nails done again at the salon. Um, but it's close, y'all. Look at my nails. Look. See how they're all chipping and stuff like that. To give you an idea how long it's been since I had my nails last done, you can look at this and see the growth. So, it's coming. I just need to find the time to sit down with some nail remover, some, some nail polish remover, and um, take all this stuff off. So, next up, we have a little cute flower humidifier. I just thought that was such a cute idea. Um, and this was... Um... Seven dollars and eleven cents. So super cute. It's it's literally just like it sounds. It is a flower shaped humidifier, and it has like this little silicone flower that goes on top. Have your short charging cord. I'll probably put this in Abby's room. Maybe that might help her. So it's not not a super long cord it's we're looking at about maybe two feet i don't know you can tell um so yeah kind of a short cord i don't understand why they give you such short cords what that's about i guess i should probably find out Um, it does give you options on the colors. Um, they have different options, but the one, the listing that I was looking at was, um, these three right here. And this is the one I got, right? No, I got the purple one. Yeah, the purple one right there. That one. <laughs> so, that was the one I got. Sorry. Um... Not that you're not about to see it. I don't know why I bothered. Um, but just a cute little humidifier. I guess you put your water down here. Oh, and this is your wick. This must this must be your wick. I think. You know, it would help sometimes if I would read the instructions, but I don't. Okay. So this just twists off and basically just twists off it like that. You can just pull it off. Um, your water goes in here. You have a power button there. And your little cord goes in here. Other side, right? Okay, I was about to say it doesn't fit. Very tight fit. Um, cord goes in there. Um, you put your flower on top of here. And it's just the cutest little humidifier with a little flower on top. So, um, it does have, I wouldn't call this an instruction manual. Um, it literally has a few things <laughs> few things um to tell you about it not a whole lot um pull out the bottle cap and add appropriate amount of water into the bottle remove the cotton swab holder okay so that is oh okay so this is going to be like your filter and that goes in there i think Oh, there was already one in there. So they give you two. There's one included in the thing. And then they give you an extra one. 
So that's going to be like your filter. So, and then plug it back up like that. And then put the cotton swab into the water to absorb water and insert the cotton swab holder. Be careful to lose the spring. I'm assuming it means be careful not to lose the spring. There's a spring down in the bottom of that little holder thing. Replace the cotton swab holder and replace the bottle cap. They're calling this the bottle cap or this. Um, but yeah, super easy. It looks like it's super easy. Um, so yeah, we're going to give that a shot. I'm going to put that in Abby's room and see if that helps her. Not that she has any problems breathing, but she does wake up in, during the night sometimes. Um, so yeah, super cute. Even just to have this on your, your dresser or your uh, a table or something is super cute. So, so I'm going to put that back down in here. Let me take this off. So I may lay it back down the way they had it. Oh, and somebody made a comment. I've gotten a couple of different comments about my use of the, of the phrase super cute. Um, one lady, she she takes a, she hydrates every time I say super cute. Um, <laughs> you can do the same thing too. I just, I don't know why I say it. Sometimes it's just to have words coming out of my mouth. Um, but sometimes I do think something is super cute. And another lady was saying that, maybe overuse it so um but i don't know i, I don't think i'm going to change so if i say super cute a lot it's just it could mean that i think something is super cute or it could mean that i'm just saying it to have something to say um but this is this particular item is really cute um and i'm definitely going to be putting this on abby's uh, dresser far back where she can't reach it so <laughs> Don't worry. Um, so next up, uh, this is a shirt, I think. Hold on. I need to plug up my laptop here. Okay. Now that I've got my laptop plugged back in, I forgot to mention, I actually have a trash bag. <laughs> and I was forgetting to use it. So, let's not forget to use the trash bag. Um, but anywho, moving on. Um, this is a shirt, I think. Um, I really think this is a shirt. Um, oh, I think this is, oh yeah, okay, I know what this is. Um, this is a tank top, and it was $7.19. Nothing super, nothing super fancy, just a purple, um, purple tank top, and this is supposed to be asymmetrical, so it's supposed to be kind of be an A-line, I think. Plus you have the, if I could show it to you. Um, you have kind of a different shaped hem. Like it's not straight across. Um, but I think this is going to be super cute. And is it soft? Yes. But you can definitely tell it's polyester. It's a bit shiny. Um, but it's still like, it's not, not soft. So, so really cute and all this stuff that i'm getting as far as clothing i'm going to try my best to find a minute to try them on for you um maybe i'll have time when i get done filming here today to try them on uh in case you're wondering no that mug is not from timu I think I got it at a Books a Million or something. Or Barnes and Noble. Sorry, Barnes and Noble. Books a Million, y'all. Y'all y'all remember Books a Million? Wow. Um, so this, what in the world did I get? It looks like this. And I might need to actually save some of these. Um I'm actually gonna do that. I am going to 
put these clothing items back in their bags. So that in case they don't fit and I need to send them back, I have their bags. Because they want you to send them back in the original packaging if, if possible. Um, what is this? Oh, is this? Oh, this is the dress. This is the dress. Sorry, it even looked black, but it's supposed to be navy blue. Um, this is just a really loose, it's supposed to be a loose fit. I'm hoping it's going to be a loose fit on me anyway. Um, this is just a really baggy, loose fit dress. Um, just, and it's going to be hard to show you guys. It's just going to be a baggy, like, loose fit dress. Um, they call it a boho dress. Um, I don't think this is going to be all the way down to my feet and my ankles, the way they show it in the picture. Um, but we're going to try it on and see. Um, this was... Um, Uh, $14.99. $14.99 for this. And it's hard to tell. It is a navy blue. Um, it's not black. It is navy blue with the, um, kind of the, the brownish color on it. They had this in, like, a couple of colors. Not, not a lot, but a couple. So, it is thin. I can see straight through it. But it'd be good for summer. If it fits. I didn't realize how much clothing items there were in this bag. After my last video, y'all, I really am not looking forward to doing another try-on for y'all right now. But I will. It just, it took so much out of me, um, having to walk in and out, <laughs> outside like that. Um, I did not, <laughs> I did not anticipate how much that was going to take out of me, but it did. So this next, um, next thing is another, uh, dress. And I don't know why I buy so many dresses, y'all. I don't wear them hardly. I don't know. I'm just not a dress person. Um, but I buy them. Go figure. Um, this next item is a camo dress. Um, uh, I'm trying to see if I can... It was $11.99. So I can see from far away. I can see enough from far away to make things out. Um, but it's when you get me up close that I can't see. Um, so this is just a really, it's like a loose fit, casual dress. So it's going to be hard to see. Um, but uh, it does have the, the strap that goes across in the back. So that strap you see that goes across in the back. So just a really, what, what y'all have going on with this sleeve though? Is that supposed to be like that? I just know this sleeve is like, is that supposed to be like that, y'all? Hold on. So, here's the dress. There is not a white section on this sleeve of this dress. There is no white section on the sleeve of this dress. What in the world did y'all give me, Timu? I want to show you. Like, I want to show y'all. Sorry. You see that? Do you see any white sections on either of the sleeves? I don't see a white section on the sleeves. What did y'all give me? Did y'all give me something that wasn't made right? Try it on. Look at this. What is that? What is that? Did y'all like run out of material? It's sewn together like that. No, it's not actually. This is selvage, y'all. If y'all know anything about fabrics, this is selvage. As in, the print stops right here. This is all one piece of fabric. But the print stopped right there. This is the end of the... This is what, um, 
like the end of the the roll that wasn't printed. Why did I get a salvage? Y'all, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Y'all gave me a dress with the salvage. Y'all, <laughs> I'll try it on to see if it fits. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be a thing. Maybe it'll, it'll be okay, I don't know. But I'll try it on just to see if the size is good. Um, what size did I get in this? Y'all, I'm not happy. I am not happy. I'm not happy that I got a dress where they just used, they cut from the selvage. They cut the piece of the pattern from the selvage and I'm not happy. So this is 100% polyester and I got a 4X in it. Um, and 4X is the biggest that it comes. But yeah. Really, Timu? We can do better. But I'll try it on just to see if it fits. Maybe it'll be okay. Why do I keep doing that? Or maybe I'll have to contact them and say that y'all sent me a defective item. And I'll get my, how much was that back? Um, ugh, hold on, wrong thing. You go down there, you, what did I pay for you again? Um, maybe I'll get my eleven ninety nine back. I don't know. I'll try it on and we'll see. So I actually have a couple of belts in here. So let's, let me show you the belts that I got. Um, they're all in plastic. So, and I really hope they fit. <laughs> I have a song stuck in my head right now and it's driving me crazy and it's a song that I it's from a play that I haven't ever actually seen but um, the intro song is just so catchy um, that I have it stuck in my head anybody ever heard of Six the musical? Um, never actually seen the play, um, but that intro song I have watched over and over again. It's just so catchy, and I have it stuck in my head right now. Let's put the trash in the trash bag. That's why I have it. <laughs> so this is a leopard print belt. It's a leopard print belt. And I did get the biggest size I could possibly find in it. Pretty long. Um, it has a has a sparkly gold, and this is like the fur material, not actual fur, but it feels like fur. Um, it has a kind of a braided edge to it with the beads, the beaded ball um, trim, um, but then the uh, the stitching has like clear stitching on it that kind of um, sews it on so it's really nice I'm impressed so really pretty I said you got the, the jewels right up here and then here and then looks like it's got a good amount of holes there so and this, this is actually screwed on. Um, there's screws on the back. So, and then yeah, the, the crosses are actually screwed on. Somehow. <laughs> but yeah, really nice belt. It's heavy, it's got some weight to it. So I'm excited to try and see how this fits. It might fit, but it might fit like right up at my waist and not down low so really cute um i paid for this i think this was 
$22.49. So not cheap, but it is really good quality though. And then to show you the other belt that I just had, what did I do with it? I had another belt in here, y'all. Where did it go? I moved my mind. Maybe, maybe I didn't pull it out yet. Anyway, I guess we will get to it when we get to it. So, next up, I'm going to show y'all these so I can get them out of the way. So, <laughs> Um, it, ironically, it's ironic that these came in the same bag, um, because these were from two separate orders. Apparently, I forgot that I had ordered her some hair clips, so I ordered another pack of them. Um, both of these have a hundred pieces in them, so she's not going to run out of hair clips anytime soon. And... They actually somewhat have different colors in them, actually, because they're from two different listings. They actually somewhat have different colors in them. Like, this one has a light blue color in it, but this one does not. Um, so, yeah. There's a little bit of different color. Not much, but a little bit. Or maybe I'm just not seeing the blue. Because, like, the blue in this one is darker than the blue in this one, the light blue. Like you can see, that's the light blue in that one, that's the light blue in that one. So, but like I said, these are two, two different orders. <laughs> so, um, one of them was $6.49 and the other one was $6.48. So, and that's for 100 pieces each. So, she has 200 new hair clips. <laughs> we go through hair clips, y'all. Because she likes to play with them. She likes to have me put them in her hair. And then she'll pull them out. Or she'll move around so much that they'll fall out. So next up. This this was super cute. I had to get it. I just thought it was the, the, the funniest thing. And it's... Um, it has to do with one of our... Mostly Andy's favorite movies. But I kind of enjoy it too. I have to admit um, and if you've ever watched the movie Evil Dead, it sounds like a pretty, pretty intense horror movie, but it's not. Um, it has Bruce Campbell in it as, like, one of his, his first, um, first roles, um, earliest, earliest movies. And if you, if you're familiar with the movie Evil Dead, then you'll know what this is. Um, this was, where is it? This was $2.99. <laughs> and if you're not familiar with the movie, S-Mart is the main store that they use in the franchise. Kind of similar, I would say similar to like K, like Walmart or Kmart. Um, but it's like a general store, general type of merchandise store that they they use in the movies. So, I just thought it was super cute. There I go again. Hydrate every time I say super cute. So, has a has the silicone rubber um, backing. So, <laughs> I had to, y'all. I had to. I'm going to put that over here. So, next what are these? Oh, this is something else that, that I just thought was, I could not pass up. They're just the cutest thing. And I'm dropping the backings of them left and right. Because they're all mixed in. They, they give you rubber backing and then they give you the metal backing. I don't know. I'm going to have to. Which one is that? That's a rubber backing. Um, there's another metal backing in here somewhere. I think that's what fell a minute ago. I think I dropped it. But anywho, I just thought these were super cute. Um, I just I couldn't. I'm I'm gonna be ready for Halloween when I when I when it comes up. But these were. I literally just saw them. 
I literally just saw them. Oh, these these were two ninety nine. Can you even? Can you even? It's not just skeleton earrings. They're dangling, scared. Like, they're dangling from one hand. Can you even, guys? These are just absolutely precious. They're so adorable. Um, They're so fun. And give you an idea. Like, they're dangling from one hand. <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. Like, y'all. Super cute, guys. Some dangling skeleton earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am going to be ready for Halloween. These are going to be the first things I wear. And I don't know. I don't have to wear them all for Halloween. I could wear them anytime. So I'm just going to put these back in their little package for right now. And I said they did come with the metal backing and they did come with the rubber backing. I just cannot forget those are in there. Ah, come here. So yeah, it did come with the, the metal backing as well. Which I think the other one fell. Yeah, I see it. I, I can't get it right now though. I'm not going to bother with it. <coughs> so next, um, is another shirt. So this, I just thought it was really pretty and really sweet. Paper. Oh, <laughs> uh, and look, this one actually has a tag on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are serious about this one. Um, this one. This one was $12.99. And it's a little wrinkled up. Um, but this one is just a Casual, like, oversized shirt. Top. Um, and again, I'm not going to be able to show it to you, like, properly. It has the big, big baggy sleeves. Um, with the elastic on the end. Um, and it's, it's very thin. It's like that, um, silk material. Um, but it has, it has a, a tag and everything, y'all. Um, they did have this in a couple colors as well. Um, the name of the brand is Rusty Dusty. <laughs> um, so yeah. Just a super cute, like, flowy, boho type, type top, which I love. I love me some just really loose, flowy, boho stuff. So yeah. I'm hoping this is going to fit. I got it in a... What size did I get this in? Probably a 4 or 5X. Because that's what I usually get. Usually stuff like this, especially if I know that it's going to be the silk material. It's not stretchy. I'll get it in like a 5X. Um, And what size did I get? Are you not going to tell me? 100% viscose. So it's not even polyester. It's viscose. Uh, and it's not going to tell me what size I got. It doesn't tell me. Oh, 4X is right there. 4X. So, maybe I got a 4X because this is supposed to be oversized. So, we'll see. I think it'll fit pretty good. I'm excited. Several people did comment that they do like me telling the prices. So, I guess I'll tell the prices. So, this, um, is this the other belt? I guess we'll find out. Comes in a canvas bag. I think this is the other belt. <laughs> Comes in, yeah, this comes in a drawstring belt. This must be nice, y'all. So this, before I pull it out and show you, this was um, 
This one was $28.49. $28.49. Keep that in mind. Because this thing is wrapped in foam. Oh gosh, this thing is so sparkly. Like, it's so sparkly. At any given time, there's a song running on loop in my in my head, and there's a film to pull off. Wow, I'm impressed. So this is the other belt. Lots more rhinestones, and take that off. <laughs> They package this up very well, as you can see. This is that patent leather material, patent material. So just a really long, sparkly belt. Um, and it still has the, the plastic on the end here. Oh, that's so satisfying. So it seems like it's very well made. So yeah. I am going to enjoy wearing this. This it seems like a really nice belt. And it has the the ball of uh, trim again that's sewn on. So really nice, really nice. This one also has a good bit of weight to it. And obviously they really cared about how it was packaged, which is why they put it in foam wrapped it in foam and put it in a um, canvas bag all rolled up like this. So yeah, really pretty. I can't even like, it's so pretty. So much better than I had thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna get this and it was gonna be like one of those cheap belts. This one's really nice. But yeah, again, $28.49 for this. Um, is it still twenty eight forty nine? Let me see. I don't think the price on this has gone down very much. Um, it's in that same order as the camo dress, so it's literally a, a penny less right now. Yeah, it's literally a penny less. So, and these are pretty long. Um, they only have three sizes: um, medium which is 42 inches, the large is 46 inches, and this was the extra large at 50 inches. So, I mean, these would be a good like man bet for men. So if you have, if you have a man in your life who likes to wear this kind of stuff, this would be good for him too. So. I think that's probably what it's meant to be. <laughs> a man, for a man. So, next up, I'm going to go ahead and get this out. This one is very um, firm. What did I order? Oh, this is the, um, the sink thing. So, this is a um, thing that you unfold. And you can place it over your sink to give you like a little bit more counter space in case you're limited on counter space um like when you get ready in the morning so put this over top of your sink and it gives you more counter space um this let me go back to my thing um do you do 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 um i'm sorry i'm literally having to um scroll up and down like visually and find these things um 20 29 so 20 dollars and 29 cents but yeah obviously this part right here back here would go like where the faucet and stuff is 
So you just, you can unfold it and place it across your sink and it gives you more space. So, and I think, um, they have this, um, you know, the texturing right there. Let's see. This and the, um, the cat print leggings, this, that was one order. That was all in one order. Because what Timu will do sometimes is they will give you a special offer. And I was literally just trying to place orders of like a certain amount just to try to get in on that offer. Oh, it's far, it's far back here, guys. I'm sorry. It's way back here. And this thing, it definitely has that smell to it. Kind of, it kind of like rubber, but it's not really rubber. Okay. View order details. I'm just looking to find the, the listing so I can kind of can see. Um, they do have this also in white, kind of a dusty pink, a light purple. Why didn't I get the purple? Maybe, maybe, maybe it was sold out at the time. And a green, kind of a turquoisey mint green color. Um, but it is currently, it is 1582. So. Hmm. So yeah, that's kind of what I thought it was going to be. Um, they do show it like these, this texturing right here, you can use to kind of scrub off your makeup brushes, clean off your makeup brushes. So you can see it. So, but yeah, this just goes over your sink, um, to give you more space, which I can definitely use more of in the mornings. So, and then you can fold it up and you can hang it on a hook just like that because it comes with this has these um built-in um hook holes right there so yeah so next <laughs> i got something else that was super fun um and this was a four pack the four pack of chip clips and they actually look like chips and they are bag clips aren't those those are so super fun i saw those and i'm like oh my gosh that's, that's so cute i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't stop myself they were just so cute um and these were the chip clips um these were a dollar and 91 so if it came in a four pack, they're just, they're plastic. Um, just, just some bag clips. They look like chips. Isn't that fun? I had to. <laughs> Next, um, we have this really pretty ring. And what size did I get this? I got this in a nine, as I usually like to do. Um, this is a really pretty ring, um, and this was a dollar ninety nine. Sometimes I actually land, my eye will land directly on it, but it's a really pretty ring. And this isn't even is kind of loose, even for this hand. So I may have could gone with an eight, but I do have some um, ring adjuster things in my cart right now that I need to order. So, really pretty. Just a vintage silver with the turquoise and the black stones. Really pretty. Like I said, that's even loose for a nine. Either that or I'm not as puffy today as I usually am. So next is a pair of earrings. And these are a little bit smaller than I thought they were gonna be. But these have kind of a special, I love earrings like this. And right now all you're gonna be able to see is that. But they have a part that dangles down behind your ear. 
Let me take one out and show you. Oops. Is it two separate pieces or is it one piece? It's one piece. Okay. Because I have another pair of earrings. It's like you can wear it with or without um, that part that hangs down in the back. But it's two separate pieces. This is one piece. So, so pretty, y'all. And like I said, there's... There's the other one. I'm just not getting it out right now. Um, but yeah. But like this part right here. This would dangle down behind your ear. So let me see if I can show you. So like this. That goes in your ear, right? And then this part. This part is on the backing. So all you literally have to do is just put the backing on. And if you wanted to wear this part right here without this, you could probably just get some regular earring backings and wear it like that. Because I mean, I think that would still be super pretty. So, oh my gosh, those are super pretty. I love these, they're so pretty. Really fun. Um, let's see. Let's go and put the other one on too. So yeah, you could definitely wear these, the flowers by themselves. If you just got some regular earring backings, you could use those. Huh? They are tight though. There it goes. So yeah. I can't really see that well. But yeah, y'all can see it better than I can. These are so pretty, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm gonna keep them on for the time being. Unless I pull out another pair of earrings. So next, <laughs> this is so cute, y'all. <laughs> this is so cute. It even has the apple on it. It's not the, the exact apple logo. Because the regular Apple logo has like the bite taken out. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I just love the packaging by itself. It makes it look like it's an actual laptop or something. But this is just a mirror that's made to look like a laptop. Did I lose something? Hold on. No, I didn't. It looks like there was supposed to be an Apple logo on top here. Like you can see. It looks like there was supposed to be an Apple logo on top. But this is just a mirror. And it has like even the little, little cutouts for like where your plugins would be. Y'all, how cute is this? This is so stinking cute. I can't even. I can't even. And it looks like my laptop too. Because I, I have a MacBook. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh. And it looks like a laptop. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, they had this in a, maybe like two other colors. Um, I think. Um, portable mini laptop design mirror. Um, they also had it in white. This is the silver, if you can't tell. They also had it in white and pink. So, yeah. <laughs> That's so cute, y'all. I can't even. And look, it's even got, you can see it says MacBook Air on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is super adorable. And uh, currently this is at $2.98, I think. Yes, they're two dollars and ninety eight cents right now. Um, I paid two ninety nine for it, so super, super, super cute. Next, um, I think this is another top. I'm looking at it right here on my order. Um, I paid seven dollars and ninety nine cents for this. This is this is supposed to be. Very similar, almost identical 
style as that purple tank top I got you, but it's in gray. And this feels so dramatically different, y'all. This feels like rough, cheap polyester. Um, it feels, well, it feels like, um, like the workout wear almost. Um, but it's, it's considerably different than the purple one. I wouldn't call this one as nice. Um, but this one is just like a gray version of it. Um, it's from a different, different seller. Um, this one has that thick, it's like thick though. Um, and so I did order this in the Forex. Um, this one is 95 polyester, 5% spandex. I don't recall what the purple one was. I didn't look and see what the purple one was. But this one, it feels dramatically different than the purple one. This one is thicker. Um, it feels thicker. Um, it feels like that spongy workout wear that you get. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. It could be a sign of higher quality. Or it could be a sign of cheaper quality. I guess we'll find out. Um, but this one is another... It's that same, like, asymmetrical... It's hard for me to hold this up and show it, but it's that same asymmetrical um, hem. Same exact style, y'all. It's supposed to be the same exact style. Um, but it's it's very different from the purple one. So, I guess I'll try it on and see. And I said I paid $7.99 for it. Y'all, my brain is so bad. I can't even remember what I tell y'all. Um, currently, it is at seven nineteen. And is that all? Yeah. And this particular listing does come in the gray, black, and then the purple. So. I think this is a different listing than the purple one I got, I think. Um, so, just a few items left. So, there are nails in here. Huh. I can maybe show you the... Um, the box. Okay. So there are a few items left in here and then we'll be done. So next, what is this? I can't even see what that is. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this is. I think these are the cookie earrings. And somebody hauled these. And I'm sorry, I don't remember who. Could have been Aaron. It could have been... GG, I don't remember. It, it, I don't know. Maybe it was Aaron. Maybe it was Aaron in an older video. The longer I think about it, the more I think that that's what it is. It was Aaron from an older video. Um, hauled these, and I just thought they were super cute. It might not have been Aaron. I don't remember. Um, but I just thought these were so funny and so cute. They're cookie earrings. They look like Oreo cookies so fun and i didn't expect them to have the sparkle to them but they have a sparkle to them i don't know if you can see if that's coming across or not but yeah so fun and i am going to put these on i'm going to take these other ones off so that i can show you i like trying on my earrings for y'all i do like that this um is one piece it makes it so much easier so I said, because the other and the other kind that I have, um, it it actually comes in two separate pieces. So that the part that hangs down from the back, it's a separate piece from the backing. So these are just super fun. I wish it had where the the bite was on opposite sides instead of on the same side. But that's just an OCD thing for me. So. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. I can't, y'all. I can't. These are just super cute. And if I remember correctly, they had a couple different styles in this listing. But I just wanted the Oreos. <laughs> so those are fun. I'm going to go ahead and take them off because I have another pair of earrings um, in, in here beside me. So yeah, just super fun. And since I bring up the other earrings, I actually have two more pairs of earrings here. So 
So these earrings, I don't know, they might go good with this shirt that I have on. These are definitely a 70s boho throwback. Um, these feathers, they're super soft. I just, I keep wanting to, to pet the feathers. Super soft. They have this very interesting hook to them. I've never seen a hook like that. <laughs> but just really fun. Really pretty. And they're going to be long, I can tell. So they have this kind of um, long fish hook type style. So we'll see if we can get that on. It can be tricky sometimes if you don't do it right. Oh yeah, these are like definitely long. <laughs> Let me put the other one in. It's only fair. So. <laughs> yeah. These are going to be... I don't know how often these are going to get worn. Because they're definitely going to dust my shoulders. So. Which means they're going to get caught. Like if I try to move. They're going to get caught. And I like my earrings to be able to sit right the way they're supposed to. So this one doesn't have as much like visually interesting as this one. So, yeah. But it's okay. They're, they're different. So, super fun. And I'm going to take these out because, yes, I have another pair of earrings coming up. And I might as well take them out now. So, yeah. These were... I keep trying to pull up the wrong thing, guys. Um, these were... Oh, the Peach Blossom earrings. I don't know if I told y'all those. Um... I just got so into them. These right here were $1.99. Um, and the cookie earrings were $0.99. Cents. I'm sorry. Um, the um, the feather earrings were $2.99. And since I'm looking at that particular order, um, this is a bracelet that has a sunstone and a moonstone in it. And this was $3.49. Really pretty. I, I heard something the other day. I don't know how true it is. Um... Maybe um, April uh, from a Menopause and Madness. I don't know if she watches me. Maybe she can help me out. I heard that wearing Moonstone on your dominant hand will help keep negative. Like it will help keep negative negative people out of your life. I don't know. Um, but this is kind of a small bracelet. Um, I do have a, a larger wrist. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this. Um, yeah, because it's... Yeah, I mean, not, not too bad. There is room room to grow. So, really pretty. And it does have the extender. So, not, not as small as I thought it was going to be. It looks small. Um, so, yeah. Really pretty bracelet. And again, that was three forty nine. So yeah. And then I'm gonna save this last pair of earrings for last. Not that they're anything special, but I don't want to end with nails. <laughs> so I did get some nails. And this one's a little bit off kilter. Um, but I did get these. 
just really pretty pink and some of them have the the wavy on them um these were looking for them I'm looking for them these were 57 cents <laughs> 57 cents so i'm wondering if they're going to be 57 cent quality but and where is my containers so i'm going to go ahead and put these in my containers and in my container I can get the thing open and I will be saving the if any of them come a lot of them do come with the um, the little nail sticky pad things um, and and I, all of them that I've gotten do come with the little mini emery board some of them do come with the cuticle pusher stick thing um, I will be saving those in a little separate bag or something. Um, so, let me get these open. You are seeing this live on camera. So, I really like these. I don't know if y'all saw them, but there are nails in there that are all silver. Really pretty. I need my glasses for a second here. So, these are really pretty. Okay, I'm really trying not to spill these but the silver one though y'all had to bring that one out that one is going to be a probably a middle finger one because i don't know i might have to put it on my thumb i might have to put it on my thumb i think um okay so the number one is down there so this one is the so it would be like that. So these are definitely gonna have to be thumbnails. They do have smaller ones, which will which will look like maybe a ring finger size for me. Um, maybe might be a little bit smaller than that. I don't know. It, it would be too big for. I don't know. It might not be too big for my pinky. But anyway. So yeah, there's there's several different um, ones in there. So I'm just going to take these out, open up my little box, and we are going to. That is just the right size for a 24 pack of nails. So yeah, and then we close it up, and then I can see that I have those nails. So. This is such a good idea, y'all. And I'm I'm so glad that I saw um I really I'm trying really trying to figure out who said it. It had to have been it had to have been Gigi. It had to have been Gigi. So so if it, Gigi, if it was you, thank you for the idea cuz I have so many nails in my tote back there that need to be dealt with <laughs> i have way too many nails i don't know maybe i'll go ahead and put these on maybe i might have time today to actually soak this gel polish off that i got from the salon and uh put some false nails on because i don't really want to keep them on too much um except for when i have to work that's the only time i really worry about having them on um so yeah so last in this bag and then i will let you go oh my gosh this thing has gone so long um is this pretty pair of earrings again they are asymmetrical and these are sorry i'm looking for them Okay, top of the list here. These were a dollar ninety nine. Sorry. <laughs> so really pretty, um, asymmetrical, and they do have 
the um, I have a rubber backing or you can use the metal stabilizing back uh, backing that they keep put with it um, which has the stabilizing uh, piece on there and y'all know I gotta try them on just for y'all I have another um, sponsored haul um, that I really need to film as well. So I may go ahead and do that while I have the time. Okay, come on now. Really? My ear is trying to keep it out. There it goes. I don't know why my ear does that. Like, I literally just had earrings in it few minutes ago and I try to put these in the, the back part the back part of the hole acts like it's closed up I don't know does anybody else have that problem but just super cute these are pretty these are really pretty from what I can see because I can't see so yeah really pretty I could think of some shirts, some really pretty shirts that these would go with. So, but I think that's it, guys. I think we finally reached the end of the big bag. So, um, y'all, that's that's the smaller of the big bags. Um, I have another bag in there that I'm probably gonna have to do in two parts because there's something like 40 items in it, and I know that would take forever and a day <laughs> to get through. But that's all I have for y'all for right now. Uh, if y'all see anything in this video that you like, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and then look for it down below linked uh, in the description box down there. Um, and yeah, I love the comments. Let me know what your favorite thing in this video was. And uh, I guess, guess I'll be seeing y'all later. And until then, bye for now. Okay, so we are starting out with the purple tank top and the cat print leggings. Um, they're very comfortable, but I will say that they have a very, very high, um, crotch area. I don't know what you would call it, but from here to here, from here to the waist is very, very long. Um, I, I can actually wear these almost as a high water on me. <laughs> um, so, you know, maybe if you do have a belly, maybe that's a good thing. But, um, but they're very comfortable. Um, they're obviously a little long on me because I'm short. Um, but I do like the purple tank top. It, uh, fits exactly how I wanted it to. Um, I did, though, because it does have the A, the a line. It is, um, asymmetrical. Um, you can kind of see where it kind of comes down into the points. But, yeah really loose fitting really comfortable um i'm i'm a little worried about the gray one because it is such a different feel and this one i looked at the material on this one this one is 95 percent polyester five percent spandex just like the gray one so it's gonna be interesting to see how the gray one feels so but yeah i really like this one the shirt the, the tank top i love um it's gonna be Super nice wearing it on the hot days that we get down here. Um, definitely giving this a 10 out of 10. The leggings, um, I'm gonna, just because it has such a, a, a long like waist area, I'm gonna give them like a nine out of 10. But other than that, they're super comfortable. Um, they're not too stretchy, but just stretchy enough. And um, I still have, I mean, I still have good room, so. Yeah, I'm feeling this. I would probably actually wear this together. Um, or with the gray tank top. We'll just have to see how that fits. So yeah, really digging this one. So let's go try on the other tank top. Okay, so the gray one is on. Um, it fits just like the purple one. Um, this is, like I said, this is a thicker material. This is like that real thick sports material that you get. I don't know how Timu does it. They can take the same material... 95% polyester, 5% spandex, and make these items feel so different. So this one, like I said, is a thicker material. Um, 
but it's still comfortable. I could still see wearing this out in the summertime. Um, it's just like the other one. Also has that asymmetrical hemline, the A-line. So it, it does have the A-line kind of asymmetrical thing going on. So really comfortable. So this isn't uncomfortable. So fits exactly like the purple one does. It's just a completely different material, but it's still comfortable though. You still get that stretch. So, but yeah, I still give this one a nine out of 10, a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's still nice. So I could definitely see wearing this out just like this. Cause I don't wear a lot of shorts guys. Even when it's 95 degrees outside, I'll still go out in pants just because I don't do a lot of shorts. So yeah. I don't know how, but two shirts that are the same fit, same cut, same materials can feel so different. And it just goes to show you could get two different items from two different, two, two of the same item from different sellers and they'll come out completely different. One will be good quality, one will be crap quality. So, but let's go try on the next thing. Such is my life. That's what I go through with this cat. So, here we have the 4X in the green shirt. And I'm going to admit, guys, that this is even still a little bit small from what I remember from the red version. But it does feel a lot better than the 3X did. So, I have no problems with this one. And when I say that this shirt is technically... Like, if you have longer arms, it would probably be like a three-quarter sleeve. I have short arms as it is, so it when my arm's down by my side, it looks like a long sleeve. But as soon as I lift them up, it, it, it goes up. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Flip out just a little bit. So, but, um, still a little bit high. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, even though I'll probably be wearing this to work, um, I put it with my favorite jeans that I got from Timu. Um, I do like this. I, I like it a lot better than the 3X. The fit is so much better. Um, even though it's not, like this down here is not quite as loose fitting as it is on the 3X, on the 4X, on my red one. Um, it still fits pretty nicely, so I'm not, I'm not going to hate on it. So I still give it a, a 9 out of 10. So, but yeah. Okay, so excuse the fact that I still have my black bra on. Um, it is what it is. Um, but y'all, this shirt was everything I could have ever asked for. Um, it's so cute. It's so flowy. Like, the sleeves are, the sleeves are huge, guys. But, if you like that sort of thing, you know... They're super loose. Obviously, y'all know. If y'all been watching me, y'all know I have a problem with sleeves. Because I have big arms. Not a problem in this shirt. As I was hoping it wouldn't be. Um, lots of room here. It looks so cute, y'all. This is, this is totally my vibe. I would definitely go out in this. Like to go shopping or something. Just like this. With my ripped jeans on. <laughs> because, y'all... And I really some cute, like, dangly earrings. Yes. I apologize if the sun is too much, but it's right there. <laughs> so, it's coming in the door. Um, and I'm recording this early in the morning, so. But, yeah. I love this shirt. Love it, love it, love it. They did have this in a couple other colors if you're not into yellow. I'm not normally a yellow person. I used to hate yellow with a passion, but y'all, this is, this is a phenomenal, I love this, yes, definitely yes, so, uh, yeah, I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10, get you one, <laughs> and in case you're wondering, um, you probably wouldn't have to get a size up, you could probably go with your normal, regular size, unless you like this baggy fit like this, um, I did go a size up. Normally, um, I get like a 3 or 4X. I did get the 4X in this. So, if you like this little baggy look, 
you know, definitely go with a size bigger than what you normally would wear, but I wouldn't go too big on it because it's already kind of oversized. So, but yeah, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so here we have the dress. Um, this one I was a little bit worried about and for good reason. Um, this is a one size fits all, one size fits most kind of deal. Um, all this up here, great. Love it. Super baggy, super loose. The sleeves, however, are snug on me as they usually are when something doesn't have any stretch in it. Um, this is that, not silk material, but it is a linen kind of ish material. Um, if you're not somebody that has baggy, big arms like me, um, this will be great. If you have normal sized arms, you should be good. But I was looking at the listing to try to find out what size I had gotten this in. Um, and the dress they are showing on the model, either she is super skinny and they put like some kind of huge, either she is like a super petite woman or they're showing a completely different dress, but the dress they showed almost had like a bat wing sleeve on it. Um, and this does not. Um, so the sleeves on this are a little small. If you, if you do have large arms like I do, um, it's going to be tight. Just letting you know. Um, trying to figure, I don't know. I, I would probably end up having to cut the sleeve if I really want to work with this. I, if I really want to be comfortable in this dress. Um, other than, other than the sleeves, it's really comfortable. It's super comfortable. I mean, they, they kind of list this as like a beach cover-up type of thing or a cover-up boho dress. You could wear it however you wanted to. Um, it's definitely loose enough. As you can see, I am a larger woman and it's plenty of room on me. So if you're more proportionate, this would be great on you. So yeah, like I said, this is a one size fits all, one size fits most kind of deal. So yeah, super cute. Um, when I was looking at the listing just now, they had it in one other color, which they called coral. It's kind of an orangey red color with stripes. Um, but I feel like... I've seen it in other colors, but I don't know, maybe, maybe they took it off the listing, but yeah, this is really comfortable. Um, I would really love to wear this out, just like out and about, um, maybe with those, um, tan sandals that I got in my clothing haul, but I don't know, those, those don't have a lot of support in them. But I would love to wear this out. Like I said, the sleeves, just the sleeves by themselves are just kind of snug. Um, you can kind of can see. But everything else, like even up here in the chest, is fine. It's just the actual width of the sleeve that's tight on me. So, but it is super cute. Um, very flowy, very loose, very comfortable. So, um, I would give this... What would I give this rating? I would I would give this an 8 out of 10. Um, just because the sleeves. I feel like the sleeves are a different style than the ones they showed on the listing. Um, maybe that's because I'm a different shape than the, than the model. I don't know. I feel like there's pockets in here. Is there pockets? No. Because I keep feeling over here and it feels like it's bunched up. Like there's pockets. There are, there are pockets. Huh. I knew, I kept feeling like over here on the side, side seams. Um, so yes, there are pockets. Not that I'll use them, but there are pockets. So, that's a plus. I was like noticing, I was like, I was looking, feeling up here on the side seam, and I feel like there was something bunched up there. So, yeah, it does have pockets, so it has that going for it. But yeah, 8 out of 10, super comfortable, but the sleeves are kind of tight on me. That's just me, so... Okay, so now we have what I am going to call the salvage dress. It is comfortable. It's a lot longer than I was expecting on the model. It showed it's about mid-calf length on her, but it is very long on me. It's actually hitting the floor if you can't see. Um, I am barefoot right now. Um, it does have pockets. Um, it is very comfortable. I'm very disappointed with that, though. Um... I'm definitely going to be taking a picture and sending it to Timu. Um, that they sent me a 
dress that was not made correctly because that's just distracting um actually let me look at something here did they actually make this sleeve longer maybe maybe not can y'all tell i feel like they made the sleeve longer like the like the sleeves aren't even because they put that in it um other than that it's a super comfortable dress definitely good for going out and about so i don't know no idea what to do um maybe i'll have to cut the sleeve up i don't know but i don't in in, in case anybody's out there saying well just get your refund from timu and order another one i don't really want to order another one because i don't mind how this one fits the only thing that's bugging me about this dress is that And I really like the more I'm looking at it, the more I do feel like this sleeve is not as longer. Like it's not the same as this sleeve because they cut, because they put that on there. Um, other than that, it's a comfortable dress. It's definitely long. Um, this would definitely be um, like a good size maxi dress as long as you were shorter than 5'4", 5'5". Five, five, five. Um, but anything above that, I mean, it's obviously it's going to start being a little bit shorter and shorter on you. But um, it it does have, I forgot about this. It does have the, like it's not all straight across uh, at the bottom hem. So you kind of can see that. It has kind of the, the cutout. Um, so, so yeah. So yeah, it's super comfortable, y'all. Super comfortable. Um, and I think I did order this in the biggest size they had, which was a 4X, but super comfortable. I'm just very disappointed in the sleeve situation. So, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm definitely going to be taking a picture of this and showing it to Timu, um, so that they can see that they sent me something that wasn't made correctly. So, but yeah. Other than that, definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, well, maybe a 9 out of 10 because the sleeves are still a little snug. Even the sleeve that's made the right way, still a little snug. But 9 out of 10. So, 